Greetings, WordPressers. Jackson here. Welcome to the channel. Nice to have you as always. I do like every so often doing a video about a historical plugin, a plugin that has been brilliant historically, still is brilliant, still does the job, still does exactly what it says on the tin and does it perfectly and is a kind of go to if you're faced with that particular situation. Now, the scenario that I'm talking about is when you are faced with a situation where say you've got a plugin and it's got some text, you know, that appears on the front end somewhere and there isn't a setting to change that text. It's a bit of a nightmare because the last thing we can do is go into the plugin code and hack the plugin code because when the plugin's updated, your changes are lost. Fairly standard protocol, wouldn't you agree? So what do we do when we want to change text? Well, riding to the rescue has been a plugin for, I don't even know how long this plugin has been out for. Probably should have researched that. But anyway, Tim W, thank you very much for the mighty, the mighty Loco Translate plugin. It solves this problem each and every time I've come across it. And I actually came across it just the other day when I did a video for how to create an amazing booking and scheduling system for yourself, for a business, and something you should have in your toolbox. The link is in the description below for that video. Anyway, I'll just quickly run through that scenario and how I used this plugin to fix it. And then I'll quickly take you through setting up Loco Translate from scratch, it's just a few minutes. It's amazing. I love it. Let's crack on. Okay, let's get stuck into it, shall we? Remember the barber shop? Well, this was it. We've got a barber's page and we can click on a link to go book Stacy. And we created this really slick booking functionality and scheduling system. Go and check that video out up there and in the description if you want to know more about that. Get that skill set in your toolbox. So once you go through the checkout, etc., and fill everything in, you end up with this confirmation page. Your meeting has been scheduled. Doesn't sound doesn't sound great, does it? I'm not having a meeting with with Stacy. He's going to do my hair. So we need to make that a bit more personal, a bit more in keeping with the product that you're selling, the service that you're selling. We've also got this. You are scheduled with Stacy. All sounds a bit formal. Plus, Stacy is down here as a host. He's not a host. He's a barber. So what I did with the demo of the booking and scheduling services video is that I changed that using the remarkable Loco Translate plugin. So I changed it to your haircut is booked. Your appointment is with Stacy and Stacy's now not a host he's actually a barber which is fabulous and it's really easy to do because none of this is available to set in the settings of the plugin that's what we did let's go have a look at how that's sewn together in the back end we've got um the barbershop admin here loco translate this is the fella very very cool thank you tim you've done such a brilliant job with this over the years love you for that we've got loco translate and we go to the main homepage for the plugin. There's a bit of info about what plugins you've got in there, plus what I've been doing with the Fluent Booking plugin. But let's show you how that works. If we go to all plugins and we go on to the Fluent Booking, I created this language and inside that language, I created these different translations. So you find a translation that you wanna change, you know, whatever's on the front end. So like I wanted to change your meeting has been scheduled. So you've changed that to your haircut has been booked. Really simple. So you just select the thing you want, chuck in the translation and away you go. Press save and you're done. Literally don't have to worry about it. This error message here is just because I'm not using the placeholder. That placeholder there is the status of the meeting, but I didn't really need to do that because it has been booked. That's why on the confirmation page. So I just changed it to what I wanted. Okay, so that's how we did it with the barbershop. Going to take you through now a setup and demo of how to do it yourself from the get-go with a use case that is very normal, which is if you've got a woo shop. So we've got a woo shop here and let's get onto our woo shop. There's our front page with our products and stuff like that. We could go onto the product and we want to change some of this text that we can't, there's no way to do that in the admin on the settings. Let's have a look at the admin. We've got Loco Translate again. Let's go to that homepage of the plugin once again. 
So this is what it'd be like if you are coming at it from scratch after first installing it. Now you see we've got same-ish info on the home page. If we go to all plugins, which is the same as clicking that, we see we've got WooCommerce and we see we don't have any new translations for WooCommerce. So let's create a new language. We'll choose the installed language because that's what we're dealing with. We'll start translating and it's really quite as simple as this. So let's have a look at our WooCom. So we want to change min price, max price. We just do a search for it. There's our min price and we just put stupid cheap and let's do our max price, max price. And we'll put silly money, save that and refresh our front end. There we go, stupid cheap, silly money. I think you kind of get the gist, but let's have a quick look at some other stuff. Quite a regular thing is to change the add to cart button to something like buy it now. So if we go to add to cart, add to cart. Uh, and what I would suggest also is that you make sure you're sorting it all the time because there might be one or two and they might be mixed around a little bit. Not quite sure why, but there you go. So let's have, you know, buy now, save that and let's have a look. It's not that one, so let's get it off that one. Well, actually, no, let's keep it on that because we want it. All, we want to change it globally. So there's two for some reason, possibly ones for the archive or something like that. But yeah, you might have to sort of mess around to know which one you want to do. But there you go. Buy now, and you can do other stuff like you know additional information. That could be additional info. Let's try that one. Could be you know tech specs or something. I think you get the gist by now or something like that. Save that. Is it that one or is it the other one? It's the other one. So again, I think if my memory serves me right, there's two versions of that, but they're in the same place. I think it's when, when only one tab is being shown. Let's save that um, and do that. And there we go. Tech specs. Perfect. I think you get the gist. Now the thing with, with changing text, like, so that says buy it now. If we now click that, it's not really buying it now. It's saying it's been added to the cart. So I think we should change this as a little bonus. We should change this buy now action to take us straight to the checkout. What do you say? Well, if you're thinking, yes, we should, that video is right there. How to change your woo button to take you straight to the checkout for a much more buy it now experience. But until next time, I shall see you later.